Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, reference angle naman ang ating pag-uusapan. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. The reference angle, ito ay laging present sa lahat ng angle na nasa standard position. Kung ang angle natin na nire-represent ng theta ay nasa standard position, ang kanyang reference angle naman ay represented by theta bar. Ang reference angle, laging acute angle. Ibig sabihin, less than 90 degrees yung kanyang measure. And it is always formed by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. Lagi nating i-compare yung terminal side ni theta at yung x-axis. As what you can see here in the video, ang ating theta ay itong obtuse angle na to. Ang reference angle na tinatawag niya ay yung acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Yun yung kanyang theta bar o reference angle. Pero kung ganito naman yung placement ng ating theta, itong sobra yung lumampas sa x-axis, yung acute angle na yun, yun pa rin yung ating reference angle. But sa tatandaan nyo ha, reference angle is always acute and it is formed by the terminal side and the x-axis. Now, I'll be offering here different formula para malaman kung ano ang reference angle ng bawat angle na involved. Kung ang angle mo ay nagtatapos sa quadrant 1, ang reference angle mo ay kapareho lang ng given angle. Kasi yun na din naman yung acute angle formed by the terminal side and the x-axis. Pero kung quadrant 2 nagtatapos ang iyong angle, lumalabas na kapag in natin yung angle na theta at itong reference angle niya, they will form 180 degrees. They are supplementary. Kaya pwede nating sabihin that the reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus theta kung naka-degrees yung angle mo. Kung naka-radian, it's pi minus theta. Kung sobra naman yung angle mo, sobra siya sa 180, we call that a reflex angle. At nagtatapos siya sa quadrant 3, lumalabas na ang ating reference angle ay itong sumobra sa 180 degrees. Baligtad naman yung placement ng ating uh, minuend and subtrahend. Meron tayong theta minus 180 degrees o kaya naman theta minus pi kung nakaradian yung iyong angle. And finally, kung nagtatapos sa fourth quadrant yung iyong angle, ang ating reference angle ay itong acute angle na kukumpleto sa isang buong revolution. Kaya naman, meron tayong 360 degrees for one revolution, subtract natin yung given angle. Or 2 pi kung nakaradian yung iyong angle. So let's have the following examples. I-determine natin yung trigonometric functions of 2 to 5. Madali ito kung meron kang calculator, pero sa calculator limited lang. Walang cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So gamitin natin yung Reference angle ng 2 to 5. 2 to 5 is a reflex angle at nagtatapos siya sa third quadrant. Kasi lagpas to ng 180 pero hindi siya lagpas ng 270 degrees. At alam natin sa third quadrant, based on the video na huli mong napanood about uh, trigonometric functions, tangent at cotangent lang ang positive sa third quadrant. So, tingnan natin yung reference angle ng 2 to 5. Since it is at the third quadrant, gagamitin natin yung 2 to 5 or yung theta minus 180, which will result to 45. Ito yung ating pinatawag na reference angle. Tapos, based on the video then about trigo functions na kung hindi mo pa napapanood, andito sa upper right corner ng video natin, ang coordinates ng 45 ay square root of 2 over 2, Hama square root of 2 over 2. Ito yung mga coordinates ng uh, circular functions. At ang r natin ay 1. So, ang sine natin, sine of 2 to 5, it is uh, negative 
ng sine 45. Bakit negative? Kasi tangent at cotangent lang dapat ang positive. So, meron kang negative ng y over r. Ang y mo, square root of 2 over 2. Ang r mo, 1 na din naman. So, hindi ko nalalagay. Ito na yung iyong sign. For cosine, 2, 2, 5. Ganon din, negative ng cosine 45. Dito, meron kang negative x over r. Ang x mo ay, ah, by the way, negative nga pala yung sign. Ito, negative din, square root of 2 over 2. So, yan yung iyong cosine. For the tangent, sabi ay positive daw yung tangent sa third quadrant. So, this is still equal to tangent 45. This is y over x. Ang y mo ay square root of 2 over 2. D-divide natin sa square root of 2 over 2. So, simplify natin dito. Ang numerator na square root of 2 over 2, pareho lang sa denominator. So, we have 1. That is your tangent 45. Now, for the cosecant of 2 to 5, again, this is negative of... Uh, Cosecant 45. Negative r over y. Or in other words, irereciprocal ka lang natin yung sagot sa sine 2 to 5. Which is negative 2 over square root of 2. Now, dahil may square root sa denominator, kailangan natin tong irrationalize. If hindi ka na marunong mag-rationalize, this video on the upper right corner may help you. The answer will now be negative 2, square root of 2 over a denominator of 2. Pero pwede pa nating ma-further simplify. Yung negative 2 sa labas at yung 2 na denominator, we can divide them. Kaya naman ang answer natin ay negative square root of 2 na lang. Next, for second, 2 to 5. It is negative of second 45. This time, we have negative r over x. Pero dahil negative square root of 2 over 2 din, yung ating cosine, babalik ta rin lang natin yan. This will be negative 2 over square root of 2. Basically, pareho lang ng naging solution sa cosecant. This will be negative 2 square root of 2 over 2. Madi-divide tong dalawa. The answer is now square root of 2. And for cotangent, 2 to 5, ito na yung positive. We have positive cotangent 45. This is just square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2 or x over y. Which will still be equal to 1. So, yan yung 6 trigo functions ng 225 degrees. In example number 2, meron naman tayong 11 over 6 pi. Gawin natin ulit yung analysis na ginawa natin sa example 1. Una, meron tayong 11 pi over 6. Alam natin na dapat ito ay magtapos sa 4th quadrant. Lagpas siya ng negative y-axis pero hindi siya isang buong rotation or revolution. Dahil sa fourth quadrant siya from the previous video, dapat ang positive lang ay cosine at second. Kuhanin natin yung reference angle ng 11 pi over 6. I'll be pausing for 5 seconds only dahil madali lang to. After 5 seconds, reveal natin yung answer. Since this is at the fourth quadrant, ang ating reference angle is 2 pi minus 11 pi over 6. Yung 2 pi, pwede nating gawing 12 pi over 6. Kasi diba 12 divided by 6 is just 2. Minus 11 pi over 6. This is 12 minus 11. That's just 1. So, yun yung kanyang reference angle, pi over 6. At ang coordinates ng pi over 6 ay square root of 3 and 1 half. Tapos ang r natin ay 1. We proceed by writing the sine of uh, 11 pi over 6. This is just equal to the negative 
of sine pi over 6. Negative y over r. Dahil ang r natin ay 1, pwedeng kopyahin na lang natin yung y, which is 1 half. Tapos gawin nating negative. For cosine of 11 pi over 6, ang cosine daw ay positive. So, kukopyahin lang natin yung cosine ng pi over 6, which is x over r. R natin ay 1. So, kopyahin na lang natin yung x, square root of 3 over 2. For tangent, dito natin isolve. Ang tangent ng 11 pi over 6 ay equal sa negative of tangent pi over 6. This is negative y over x. Ang y natin is 1 half. So, meron kang negative 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Using the rules in division of fraction, meron tayong negative 1 half times the reciprocal of the divisor 2 over square root of 3. Pwede nating matanggal yung 2. Maiiwan na lang tayo ng negative 1 over square root of 3. Tapos, tsaka natin irrationalize. The denominator will now be 3. At ang numerator natin ay negative square root of 3. After having these values, so far tama pa, pa cosine pa lang ang positive, kuhanin natin yung CSC ng 11 pi over 6. This is equal to the negative of CSC pi over 6. Balik rin lang natin yung sign niya. We have negative 2 over 1. Or negative 2. For second, 11 pi over 6, it is just equal to second pi over 6. Kasi nga, positive daw dapat. Balik rin lang natin yung cosine niya. Meron tayong 2 over square root of 3. Rationalize natin. This is 2 square root of 3 over 3. And finally, for cotangent 11 pi over 6, this is negative of cotangent pi over 6. So this will be negative of x over y. Our x value is square root of 3 over 2. Na negative daw dapat. At ang y natin is 1 half. Simplifying, we have square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. 2 will be eliminated at ang cotangent na lang natin ay equal sa negative square root of 3. So, yan yung 6 trigo functions natin for 11 pi over 6 using its reference angle na pi over 6. Thank you for watching. If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video.